Welcome back to Startup Hack. With my 25 years of development experience here at Startup Hack, we turn beginners into developers in as little as three months. So today we're diving into some, uh, some more amazing JavaScript one-liners and great tips and tricks for writing JavaScript. Because we all want to be JavaScript experts and impress everybody, right? So let's dive in. Do you want to start a lucrative career as a software developer? With our amazing material and awesome tutors that are available for one-on-one -on -one training, we can help make sure that you're successful. The course teaches technologies that companies use and want software developers to know. You can complete the course in as little as 12, 12 weeks, so check out StartupHack.com today. And make sure to check out the link to the coding samples. We always provide the code along with our videos, so check out the link below. Also, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel because we bring you a lot of great tutorials and tips that every developer should know. Now let's get back to the code. All right, let's dig into some code here now. Okay, so first off, today we're gonna do start with getting the day of the year from a date. So do you wanna know the day of the year that a certain date is? So let's try it. Let's see what day of the year today is. Apparently when we wrote some of this code, it was 74, but I think we're a little past that now. So let's go ahead and fire this up here. Let's select node. Oh, we should probably put some breakpoints or else it's just gonna spit all of it out. All right, so. Day of the year. Let's see. What do you think it is? I know in our, when I had written this a little bit ago, a few weeks ago, it was the twenty. It was the seventy fourth. Ha! Ah, so it looks like we're one hundred twenty third days. Wow, that was a while ago that I wrote this code. Okay. So next one, we're gonna generate a random hex color. So if you're trying to do some testing and you want, especially if you're a designer, this is probably helpful to try to generate some random colors. Uh, so let's try this because what this is doing. It's just going to take the math.random, it's going to do a two string on it, it's then going to do some slice and pad it. And so let's take a look at what kind of random colors we get. All right, so I have no idea what colors these would be. Um, probably be hand handy if I uh, plug these in somewhere. So you could go see what colors these are here. But that generated two different random colors that we could get. So very handy little random color generator. This is probably especially helpful if you're a designer. <clears throat> All right, let's convert RGB color to hex. So I know in a lot of different cases, you need to have the different formats, right? So you have, just like the, we generated these random colors, sometimes you get colors in red, green, and blue. So the different color palettes this way, and you can generate them to hex. So, uh, you know, 255, probably not a super helpful to work with black here, but in the other cases, you can see that you'd be able to put this in. So very handy if you ever need to convert this. One, just even for being able to convert it, and two, if you need to be able to do it on a fly. Um, this is actually a super handy one because this is one I, I know that I would use very frequently to detect if they have a dark mode on. Because I know there's a lot of times that I'll go into different websites or applications and in dark mode, certain things just don't work. So let's uh, throw a breakpoint here and see if we have, oh, epic fail. Nah, thou shall not, uh, not really sure what we broke right there. Uh, so some, something definitely didn't break didn't work right there. So we'll uh, we'll come back to that one, but we're probably pretty close. So we'll have to debug into that one. So make sure you pull down the code. This is a good example of where you can pull down the code. So uh, probably won't go back and make a video on this one, but we'll uh, we'll comment this bad boy out so we can get past it today uh, to get so, to some other great one-liners. But uh, make sure you up go and take a look at the code because we'll try to upload uh, the working ones. But, you know, things happen as your any developer good developer knows stuff's going to happen so let's uh let's burn past these and get back to our uh spot where we were at here so now if you ever want to swap two variables uh this one you know can is pretty uh pretty interesting to work with so now we have foo and bar that got swapped man we're having a great time with this one today let's uh let's see what's going on here all right, so like we were saying before, always make sure that you test things before you demo them or before you make a video of them on YouTube. But this actually wouldn't be real, and this is the real life of real developers, and so stuff happens. So we adapt, we go on. I will work on these two and get them committed uh, in the code. So make sure you pull down that latest code, okay? Uh, comments are, uh, the, the link to it is down in the comments, so make sure you go and check that out. All right, so this one's gonna be a great little loop that will pause for the given amount of milliseconds. So uh, this is gonna be a handy way. I know a lot of times none of us wanna write this code out. And so this is gonna be a handy one that you can include to pause for a certain number of milliseconds. And then we're gonna see, it's, we'll say fash, fat fish, uh, say that one 10 times fast. Um, so 
you can see that it will wait a second. So no matter, like I can keep running this and you can see that it spit out a fat, spit out fat fish after a second. So uh, this is a handy little pause function. Never quite understood why they don't actually have a pause function in JavaScript, but you know, we can all write this, but now you do have your own pause function. Uh, the set timeout I know is kind of it at the end of the day, but this is definitely a, 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 an easier way to do this. So as with everything, we like to bring you great stuff here on this channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and we will catch you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we bring you lots of great tutorials and tips that every developer should know. See you next time.